The hymn writer penned the words, Great is thy faithfulness, O God my Father. There is no shadow of turning with thee. Thou changest not. Thy compassions they fail not. As thou hast been, thou forever will be. I want us to think about the faithfulness of our God. In 1 Peter chapter 4, in verse 19, Wherefore let them that suffer according to the will of God commit the keeping of their souls to him in well-doing as unto a faithful creator. What an amazing statement, a faithful creator. Whenever we look at the heavens, we see the moon and the sun and the stars all placed in their place. Thank God they will never spin out of place, for they're under our God's control. Think of the seasons of the year. The summer does not just come before winter. The winter does not come before the autumn. But they come in their due season, as God has planned. And then we think that we ourselves are fearfully and wonderfully made. Our faithful creator. And then we turn to 1 Corinthians chapter 1 in verse number 9. God is faithful by whom ye were called unto the fellowship of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Faithful in his calling. You know, God has called us to salvation in his Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank God for the wooing of the Spirit and the drawing to Jesus Christ alone. And we're saved. And thank God we'll always be saved, for God never changes his mind. Our faithful God in his calling. I was thinking of the little boy that was left outside the store. The father said he would be back in half an hour, but his father's car broke down and he didn't get back till five hours later. He wondered about his son, but whenever he got back, the son was standing there at the store, just rocking on his heels. The father hugged his son, apologised for his lateness. He said, I'm sure you thought I wasn't coming back. No, Dad, I knew you'd be coming. Because you said you would. Yes, God is faithful to his calling. And then we find in 1 Corinthians chapter number 10, verse 13. There hath no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able. But will with the temptation also make a way of escape that ye may be able to bear it. It doesn't say that we'll not be tempted or tested, but God is faithful who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you're able. God knows what you're able. And my friends, also God provides a way of escape. You remember faithful Joseph, how that he was tempted by Potiphar's wife, but he fled from her presence he may have lost his cloak, but he never lost his character nor his testimony because God provided the way of escape. Oh, faithful, what a comfort. And then we find in 1 John chapter 1, in verse number 9, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Yes, faithful in his cleansing. For thank God, God knows that we're not perfect, but he has provided in his Son, the Lord Jesus, that perfect cleansing through his precious atoning blood. And God is faithful to forgive us and cleanse us from all sin. And then finally in 1 Kings, 
and the chapter number 8, verse 56. Blessed be the Lord that hath given rest unto his people Israel according to all that he promised. There hath not failed one word of all his good promise, which he promised by the hand of Moses, his servant. Yes, he's faithful to his promises. You and I can rest upon them because not one will our faithful God ever break. Remember, he made a covenant never to send a flood and he put for Noah the bow in the clouds. And every time he looked upon it, Noah knew that God would not fail his promise. Friends, you and I today can rest upon the faithfulness of God. Heavenly Father, bless your word to our hearts in Jesus' precious name. Amen from my heart to yours, home to yours. God bless you.